All right, yes then, the people, uh, Hertfordshire Police Headquarters, audit, know what time it is, know what we're doing. Yeah, um, let's just park right there. Uh, don't know if that was a smart idea or not, but I ain't got time to be trying to find parking and walk around and this and that. I'm just trying to get these done as quick and as prompt and as efficient as possible. So yeah, that's what's up. Um, just gonna film. Hopefully we can get get something interesting. Um, we'll see. Time shall tell. Not waiting for the gate to close. So yeah, that's what's up. I'll pick it back up. So yeah, that's what we're working with. Being seen by anyone, fella? No. Are you waiting for someone? No. Just ignore him is, is the message. See if that will last. Here to see if it does. Stand by. Alright, looks like we caught one. Hello. Okay. Yeah, are you? Yeah. It's a strange place to be standing. I don't normally see people standing here. Yeah, I'm just making a video. Why? You're at a police station. Is that, is that okay? Yeah, of course it is. It's just not the best use of your time. You're okay. going to get loads of people asking loads of questions and probably upset you. And I don't want that to happen to you. Okay, are you going to upset me? I try not to. I'm a nice guy. You, you seem like a nice guy. So who are you? Oh, my name's Colin. Okay, are you a police officer? Yeah, sadly. Sadly, what are you not? Are you not enthusiastic about your job? Most people aren't, are they? Well, you seem pretty, pretty jolly. You seem like you're in the right job. It's, are, you, are you okay? Yeah, I'm absolutely fine. Thank you, Colin. Thank you for asking. Can I ask what you're gaining from recording? Um, I'm just making a public interest video. This is what I've chosen to do with my time today. So. Is this like a college project or like? A, no, it's it's it's, it's it's just for my own recreation. Man, this is like the dullest boarding building in the world. It's like. This was built in a hundred years ago. It it's looks like it, yeah. Do you guys not get any, any funding or anything? Not enough. Not Are enough. you based here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you just like a neighbourhood police officer? or? No, no, I'm, uh, I'm on a weird department. The investiga yeah. investigative stuff? I'm, I'm more on the victim, looking after the victim side of things. Oh, okay. All right, fair enough. Dude, I, I genuinely want you to have a good day. Thank you. If you, if you stay here, you're going to get... 10 police officers come up to you you're going to end up at some point someone asking you for your ID running you through checks right you're going to get frankly upset and hassled and I, I should I shouldn't be though I'm, I'm, I'm in a public place conducting a lawful activity I don't I see any reason why I should be hassled I, as you put it no I get that but you have to look at it from the bigger picture of the world right so when you've got someone who's recording a building mm -hmm. or, it, or it could be a building, yep. it could be that you are public interest and you're doing what you're doing, and, and I hope you are. Yep. But there are other people in this world who could be doing what's called hostile reconnaissance. Right. And they're looking for weak spots in the building. They're looking for people making mistakes. They're looking for security gaps. Okay. Is it not a secure place? It's a police headquarters. I'd expect it to be somewhat secure. Well, so would I, but yeah. who knows? I mean, I'm not the person who's in charge of designing this building. So what you're going to have happen is you're going to have someone come up to you, yep. worried that you're doing hostile reconnaissance, right? And they're going to start talking to you about the terrorism act. They're going to start searching you, perhaps. And really? Things that could happen. I don't think there, this is any sort of reasonable suspicion for me but to be searched under it's, the it's terrorism act. It's the location. It's the headquarters of a police, and it's the recording issue. You mix those two things together, yep. and it could be that you're a nice guy, which I am. I'm not. I'm like you, Colin. Yeah. <laughs> it could be that you're not. And because right. of there is that there is that doubt, you are going to have someone come up to you and talk to you, and then might okay. not be as friendly and lovable as I am. But you obviously you're you're satisfied that I'm not 
I'm not terrorist or host, host. Is there anything I, I can do to? Is there anything I can do to satisfy your sus suspicions? Because rest assured, I'm not here for hostile reconnaissance, as you put it. I'm simply here to re to record a video. Depending on the outcome of this interaction, you know, I may even tell you my genuine purpose. Do you know, I, I'm imagining it's going to be on YouTube, or it could be a, a. There's a lot of people who like to challenge the police. Want to make right. sure that we are treating people with respect and okay. appropriate. Um, do you think the public have got a right to do that? 100%. Okay. 100%. And if I was in Watford High Street, where I used to police, yep. and I would, uh, and I'd just finished a search or I'd been doing my duties, and yep. you were to come and ask me what I had done, yep. you and I would be having a conversation where I'd explain to you the legislation I used, why I did it, and you know, hopefully we'd have a nice time. Um, but this isn't somewhere where normal policing business happens. This isn't mm -hmm. like where you get searches and. And this isn't what for high street. This isn't my this isn't my intention to come here and just yeah. document searches or to be subjected no, to a search. Just, but it's, it, you don't gain anything from being here. That's the one okay. why you're more likely to get questioned about it. Does anything does everything need to be done with the sole purpose of gaining something? What if I just what if I'm just a curious photographer and I just would spending my free time taking photos? Like, is that not right. a? You've got free will. Exactly. But that exactly. That raises a question, right? Right. So how many minutes does the average human being live for? thousands of minutes millions but, I'd, I'd, I'd yeah, expect yeah. but it's, it's not infinite no so the question is is what would you rather spend 10 minutes of your life doing mm -hmm. having a conversation with me and i'm glad you are because of you know we're, we're good people i've, I'm, or, I've enjoyed the inter or interaction or would you I'd... rather spend that 10 minutes watching the simpsons uh, i've watched i've watched them all yeah every day well, after you know, school man 6 p.m I've, whatever, I've seen them know, all you know there's, there's there's ways of spending your time that yeah. has more value to your life okay well i do um, appreciate the advice but i'm not really in, in a position to be kind of accepting the advice on how to use my free time i understand yeah. um you know thanks for trying to prompt me but yeah. this is um this is my free time you know whether i gain anything or not is is yeah are you happy to tell me why why you're here i'm here to to take photos, to make a video for my own recreation. I'm, I'm with no, I'm with no choice yeah. to phone our control room and let them know you're here. It's up to them what they want to do with that information, whether they're going to send a police officer down to speak to you or not. Um, but just because of the activities you are doing, is there any need? Like we've had a conversation, you've managed to satisfy that. You know, you said I'm a friendly guy as well. I, I think you're great. Thank you. I, I <laughs> you're know, great as well. I don't know what your intentions are. There are no bad intentions, man. But how do Rest I know assured. That? You, you don't know, but you need to go on base what you do know. Do you, do you know what happened today in Liverpool Women's Hospital? I'm, 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 I'm aware of that, um, that situation. Yeah. So yeah. If, if a police officer was to go up to the three gentlemen who had been arrested for that incident yep. and say to them, are you nice people? I'm guessing they would have also said yes. Understandably, but that yeah. guy had a particular set of motives and intentions um, to do something. Me, I don't know what yours are. And yeah, I know, but he was, he was um, you know, headed towards a civilian dense place to kind of disrupt and coerce the remembrance ceremony or, or, or whatever the case may be. I don't feel like this would be... The sun's getting uh, Yeah, I don't feel like this would be a, a valuable target for a, a prospective yeah, so terrorist or, or otherwise. In, in 2016, yeah. the intelligence was that the most likely target for terrorism was going to be police officers. Right, based on any sort of it would make objective the press. basis. They make the press. It would see. It would see. Be seen as a, as a, as a good target. Perhaps. I, I wouldn't really agree with that. I feel like if you look no, at no, past no, terrorist terrorist yeah. incidents, they've blown up buses, yeah. train stations, civilian civilian dense places. Sure. Not so much secure buildings. I think anyone planning a terrorist attack here probably wouldn't get very far. No, um, I'm filming an open broad daylight. I've answered many questions. Yeah. No. I'm British, do you know what I mean? Like, I was celebrating Remembrance Day just no, like yourself. No, dude, I don't I'm, I've got, I'm happy with you being here. Thank you. But I've got a duty to let my bosses know, that's all. Okay, I mean, you could just circulate the fact that I've been here, I've engaged. Yeah, I'm just going to phone up to our control room and, and say all right. there's a gentleman outside recording. It won't be anything more than that, and then we'll all. <laughs> end up having a what? I'm rubbish with you. Your hand's not cold. I wouldn't even be able to type on my phone right now. Yeah. I, I honestly don't feel like there's any need. You might as well just kind of go about your day. like. I, if you're leaving, I'll leave. 
But, but what difference does it make? Have I not captured all the vulnerable points, as you put it, that I already have? Like, whether I leave or not doesn't surely doesn't make any sort of difference. If I had those motives, I've set out to complete what I would have wanted to complete. Yeah, maybe. Pick this back up, hold on. Absolutely raw. Check out. You can't get through? Well, that's not remember the number. <laughs> In my age, I start forgetting stuff, really. Well, are you ain't that old. I feel it. No luck? You might as well just go about your day, man. I can't. Do you feel nervous at my presence? No, I genuinely think it's nothing, but... If that's what you think, <laughs> why, no, why, why what's all the need? If I'm 99% of the time, it means I'm wrong once, doesn't it? Yeah, I think your, your, your odds are higher than 99%, but... <laughs> not a lot higher, but higher. Honestly, bro, you're just being paranoid, man. Just honestly, just leave no, it, man. You are, bro. You're probably right, but I'm a police officer. My job probably right. I'm right. Protecting what? This is a camera, like. <laughs> yeah, but it's not about what you could be doing today. It's about what, what could happen in a week, too. This can all be seen on Google Earth. Yeah. Yeah, that, stumped, that stumped you a little bit. <laughs> yeah, no, it could be. I don't know. Why don't you call 999? They, they'll probably answer. Not worth, that. Not worth it. I'm Colin, by the way. Did I give you a Yes, you did. Colin, man, honestly, you have, you have no purpose here. I think that's the same for most police officers everywhere. Oh, really? <laughs> you said it. You said it, not me. You might as well quit your job. Come join me. I'll give you a job today. We'll just go around filming. You seem like you're fed up, man. But I'll pay you good. Come, man, quit right now. Take your, take your badge off right now. Hmm? Quit right now. I know you want to quit. See, they ain't even answering. They don't, they don't even want to answer you. I would always answer the phone to you. I'll answer the phone, bro. I'd make sure you remember the telephone number. Hmm. It's in the job description. Well, very well. And you would actually be serving the public. Hello, Sarge. It's um, Colin Cheese, right? I'm outside the front of HQ and I'm with a, a gentleman who's... Uh, who's offering me a job. 
Um, I'm not in a position to PNC him, do any further checks, uh, but he's, uh, he's recording in front of HQ. Um, what was your name, buddy? Not going to give that. What's that, sorry? Yeah, I'm, I'm, this guy I'm don't want to be a fed. Uh, what's the guidance? Told you. It's, it's up to you, Sarge. I'm just letting you know he's here. Do you want me to wait? Oh, he's about to go home. I feel bad now. Uh, hasn't really. Um, he, I did ask him and he said he's got a good reason, but he doesn't want to tell me. Um, yeah, he says it's not anything unlawful and I've got nothing to worry about, but everyone would say that. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome, thanks, Arch. Dude, genuinely a pleasure to meet you. You too. If, um, if other police officers speak to you... What was the say, advice? Um, apparently you've been at other police stations today. Yeah. I don't know if that's true. Yeah. Uh, that they're aware of you already, so that's, everything's good. Okay. Um, if other police officers come out and talk to you... Yeah. And you want to say that you spoke to Colin, who spoke to the control room... Yeah. You're more than welcome to do so. Hopefully All right, Colin. Peace. Search me up on YouTube, Coley Burks. Essentially what it is, it's called an audit of the police station. The idea is to film, uh, you know, police buildings. K-O-L-E-E. B-E-R-K-S. B-E-R-K-S. So the idea is to film um, government buildings, police buildings yeah. from uh, areas, public areas, as mentioned, it's lawful. Yeah. And um, it's, it's to gauge the reaction from the authorities and see if they respect your right to film from a public place. So as mentioned, I did say I had a good reason, so... Are you happy with how we've been interacting? Very happy. And the public will be reassured as well by your, um, your demeanour, the way you've so gone about nice it. Nice to meet you, Mr. Perks. I hope you have a wonderful day. You too, mate. A very interesting, um, <laughs> very interesting interaction. I don't think I've ever had an interaction like that before. Um, so yeah, big up Colin. Uh, t -t -t anything else to say? Anything else to add? I should think not. Uh, Hertfordshire Police seem to be aware of my presence here. Um, there was an email that's gone round, so fair play. The information has trickled across the constabulary <laughs> but yeah we're gonna wrap wrap this one up right here um that was Hertfordshire police headquarters uh, stellar performance um from mr colin if you're watching this again man if, if you want a job just hit me up man you see you seem a bit sick and tired it's, it's, <laughs> seems it seems like you don't want to work for the police no more so if that's the case you know where to find me um other than that Please like, comment, share, subscribe. Follow my Instagram, Burks underscore 2H. Follow my editor's channel, Richard underscore Cousins underscore Media. So yeah, that's our little Hartford shit cameo. It's not done yet. We're going to go Watford, but yeah. Peace.